we're going to take a look at what happens when you've finished knitting your gauge square or your tension square and the gauge is not exactly the size that it is in the pattern. So we're going to kind of go through a couple of different steps. The first one is to examine what the, what the swatch feels like. So you want to make sure it's neither too firm or too loose. So when you pick it up, does the fabric look good? Does it have a little bit of drape? Does it actually feel like something you'd like to knit with and you'd like to wear? So if you answer that question, it means that it doesn't have a stiff firmness, which would mean that the, knit, the yarn is knit too tightly, or it doesn't feel so gappy and open that you, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a, a, enough cohesion to the fabric. So if you like that fabric, but you're still getting a different gauge, you may ha you've got two options. The first one is if the gauge is very different, it probably means you may need to pick a different yarn, either a lighter weight yarn or a heavier weight yarn to come closer to matching the gauge in the pattern. But if there is only a slight difference in the gauge, then you can actually knit a different size and you can use the calculation I'm showing you here in order to knit that different size. So the example we're looking at here assumes that in the pattern, you've got five stitches for every inch for your gauge. Now, if what you've measured for your a particular swatch is 5.25 stitches per each inch, it means that you're knitting some, your gauge is a little, it's a little tighter. You're getting, you need to knit in a quarter more stitch to get one inch, so it's a tighter gauge. Now down here, we're just taking an example of a few different sizes in the pattern. We're assuming this is a 30, 32, 34, and 36 inch size. Now, if we want to knit a 32 inch size, so we want it finished, it want, we want it to be 32 inches, then how do we go about actually using our gauge and matching it with the pattern to, to figure out what size? So you can use this calculation where you can multiply your gauge, so the 5.25, by the size that you want, which is our 32 inches, and dividing it by the pattern gauge, which is five and that is going to give us 33.6 inches. So if you find a size that comes close to that within the pattern sizing, which is going to be pretty close to our 34 inches, then you're going to be kind of approaching matching the 32 inch size using that gauge. This is going to work very well if you've got something with an all over stitch pattern because you're only matching one gauge. If you've got something where there's a little bit of different stitch patterns running through here or something like that, then that's going to be kind of a different thing. So this is really if you've got an all over single pattern where you can actually compare the gauges directly. But I hope this helps you to, to basically to be able to take a pattern and make very small gauge adjustments by picking a different size.